Zwift game update number two for the month of September 2020. Now I think Zwift have brought this update a little forward because Zwift Academy starts on October 1st, which according to my watch is in exactly 12 hours time. This update was pushed out 24 hours ago and has had enough time to propagate across all platforms supported by Zwift, that being iOS, tvOS, Mac, PC, and Android. I've also noted in the forums a few people having issues with crashes. If you're encountering something like that and something weird's going on, delete your install, reinstall from scratch if you have the time and the bandwidth for the best chance of things to work smoothly. Jumping into the details here, as posted on the Zwift forums for the update, Missions and Programs Zwift Academy has arrived and the update delivers components for Zwift Academy Road, Run and Try. So all the assets, the graphics, the in-game content for that is now dropped down into the client. It's good to go as of, well, 11 hours and 53 minutes from now. Content updates, they say they've added numerous kits across running and cycling. I know there's a new race league coming out on Zwift and there's a few teams that now have their kit in-game. Zwift have updated the FutureWorks pace partners to inform riders when they join or leave the range of a pace partner. And Eric over on Zwift Insider has spotted a small hidden in-game feature where you can multiply your drops as you ride along with the pace partners. We'll dive more into that soon. And the final dot point there in content is a new workout collection called Baby On Board for expectant moms or riders looking for a less intense yet still motivating workout. Under events and meetups, now this is related to the companion app, they've added a filter to show or hide Zwift Academy events on the event list. During the month of October, there are going to be thousands and thousands of Zwift Academy events. So if you're looking just for a normal group ride and you're scrolling, 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 you can toggle that on or off depending on what you're after. Now onto the bug fixes and improvements, and everybody is jumping for joy if you're a route badge hunter. Fix the bug that caused route badges not to be awarded for riders who completed the four horsemen and uber pretzel routes on Watopia. Now I believe Patrick Tan has been our guinea pig for this, tested and confirmed at least the four horsemen now works for the badge awarding. So we have to fix the bug that caused riders to swerve in steering disabled events when a steering device was paired. You can have a so smart paired, but disabled in an event, and that was causing some issues. So bug fix on that one. Fix the bug that was sometimes cause auto paired steering devices not to work properly with steering in game okay fantastic more stability around the steering devices fixed a crash in mac os due to folder permission issues pace partners will no longer win segment jerseys yeah that's kind of awkward if the auto bots are taking the jerseys away from real riders nailed down the remaining bugs with items floating in the air on some parts of the france map so i guess pigs no longer will fly and hopefully those beach sheep keep their four legs on the ground Fixed a bug that caused Apple TV to report an incorrect number of BLE devices. Again, some awkwardness there. The Apple TV takes three Bluetooth connections. One's taken up by the remote, leaving two devices spare. And if one of those is incorrectly reporting, it's not fun at all. So all good there for that update. There's some Android fixes there for Repack Ridge. Uh, fixed a bug causing the DT Swiss arc wheels to display both disc brake and rim brakes at the same time. I guess you can never have enough virtual braking, but they've fixed that one. Fixed a lighting issue in Yorkshire, which would sometimes cause jerseys to have washed out colors. I just assume that was the weather there in game on Yorkshire anyway, and updated numerous workouts to fix typos. So there we have it, a quick whip through of all the new feature release updates for late September 2020 on Zwift. As mentioned, it's now across all platforms, so force an update if it hasn't come down automatically. And if you're encountering any issues, blow that install away, start again, all of the important details are stored up in the cloud on Zwift and associated with your account. All right, we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out there.